Welcome Gemini, this is going to be your bonus what are they thinking and feeling spread. Uh, today we are going to be looking at your feelings, your person's feelings, any action they plan on taking towards you and also some advice. So remember these are general love readings. They're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. That's okay. If it's not resonating with you this time, just hit that subscribe button and the notification button so that you don't miss out on any future messages that might come through for you. If you need a personal reading, you can actually find all of those details down in the description box below. Now we are very close to 40,000 uh, subscribers, sorry. So um, I'm going to do a giveaway once we hit that 40k. Uh, so make sure that you have hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to know all of the information and the ins and outs of how you can be in the draw for the giveaway. It's probably going to be either a, a really long reading with me, probably like a 45 minute or an hour um, or a tarot deck or I might even do both. Who knows? I, or you can just choose. Um, so if, I'll have more details closer to the time. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, I'm shuffling with the wrong deck. Let's get this sorted. All right, Gemini, let's start with your feelings. So tell me your Gemini's feelings, please, four and six. How does Gemini... Whoa, okay. That kind of flew out of the deck. So you obviously have very strong feelings for this person with that Hierophant. Maybe um, a Taurus there. Doesn't have to be. But you're definitely, you've got marriage on your mind. No doubt about it. Or long-term commitment on your mind here. How does Gemini feel about the person they're here for? Gemini's feelings about the person they're here for tonight, please. All right. Mm, okay, Gemini, I feel like maybe you've been uh, single for quite some time. Or you're just kind of confident enough in your own skin that you know what you want now. Yeah, look at this Queen of Pentacles. You're really, uh, you know what you want. And you know that you want this long-term stability. Um, yeah, you don't want any more drama. So it's kind of like, you. I don't know whether you don't want drama from this person. We'll do some clarifying. But, um, or whether this person just gives you no drama and you really like it. How does the person that Gemini is here for feel? Oh gosh, that fell out too. They also don't like drama. Wow, that's good. <laughs> how exciting. Uh, how does the person Gemini is here for tonight feel about Gemini and the connection? Tell me about how Gemini's person feels about Gemini and the connection. Oh, yeah, they are also very decisive. Why are you here, Gemini? It feels like everything's going really right for you. Or is it that neither of you are sharing your feelings? This might be quite new. Look at this Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Three more, please. How does Gemini's person, the person that Gemini's here for, feel about them, please? Oh, star card. Gemini, why are you here? You can click off. You don't need to be watching tarot readings, clearly. Oh, Wheel of Fortune? Are you kidding me? This is like the best ever. Can someone please comment and tell me why you are here if this is your reading? Because <laughs> this is amazing. This person is a good communicator. They see you as a good communicator. They feel like you're, you're kind of like a gift. Um, their wish fulfillment. There may be some Aquarius energy here. They definitely have a lot of love for you. The fact that you should get along so well. Um, there's kind of no issues here. Is that the issue, that there's no issues? Let's clarify some stuff. Tell me about that tower in reverse, please. Why is the tower in reverse? Okay, love is in reverse. All right, so someone, your, this is you on your side. Wow, that just jumped out. You may have seen that on the um, camera there. If not, rewind, put it again, put it again, play it again, play it again, Sam. Yeah, okay. So you're trying to take control because you don't want a situation where you make the wrong decision in love and this pentacle 
ends up being in reverse and it's a missed opportunity or not the right opportunity. So you may be focused on avoiding a tower and kind of maybe closing yourself off with that nine of pentacles here. So um, tell me about the nine of pentacles. I'll take two. So you're really confident. You're really kind of confident in your own skin, being on your own. Yeah, look matchings. Um, you see your path forward very clearly. And whether you're with someone or not, you're like, yeah, I can be on my own or I'm happy to meet someone. Yeah, they look at this. The high priestess confirming exactly what I said. You're very connected. You may be very spiritual. You're very connected to source. Um, you're really confident in what you want. So why are you lacking confidence around this, Gemini? This is also your card in reverse, I've just seen. So... It's like in so many aspects of your life, you're confident, but when it comes to choosing life partners, you're not confident. Let's have a look at um, the Five of Wands on Gemini's personal side, please. Okay. So the Hierophant, you guys are getting matching cards here. All right, so they're not quite ready to be talking about marriage or long-term commitment here, um, but they don't also want to miss out on an opportunity. I'm hoping that my camera just lasts the last 5% here. Um, but, they, yeah, they're worried they're going to miss out on an opportunity with you, so they might not be prepared to speak up. Uh, give me something for that Two of Wands. They're not sure how to approach something with you. Give me Two of Wands. Or how to move forward with something. Okay, their feelings. Okay, so ugh, there we go. Dropping all the cards, saying that's enough. You're not getting a second one. They're really stuck on you. They're not sure how to share this with you because I think that they, they're picking up on some standoffish energy from you, Gemini. So it's almost like you intimidate them a bit. But... In regards to this Wheel of Fortune, Ace Cup Star and Eight of Wands, it's just bliss. It's beautiful. I don't even need to clarify. This Eight of Wands, I will actually. Oh, what's happening there? The star card's being a bit funny, is it? Let's try that again. All right. So uh, Eight of Wands here, please. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so they don't, they want to tell you. Oh, so they might have something to tell you about house and family. Ah, oh, their past. Okay, so they've got something from their past that they need to tell you. This is what is hidden. And they're not sure how to tell you because they don't want to risk you changing your mind about how you feel about them or missing out on an opportunity with you. Because they see you as this amazing, amazing opportunity. Like you're the catch, basically. All right, let's have a look at any action this person plans on taking towards Gemini. What action does this person plan on taking towards Gemini? Taking four. What action? Okay, we've got the lovers in reverse. So again, signaling that. Oh, that's Ace of Cups. They're so intimidated. They're so scared of you, Gemini. What, why are they so scared of you? Oh, okay. They're not going to say anything yet. Seven of Swords. They're just going to try and sneak around. They're not going to communicate how they feel or whatever this is. As I was saying, um, this person is not going to come forward with the information because they're afraid that you're going to change your mind about the connection so i think um for the moment they're too afraid to tell you the truth about whatever this is sorry i just lit some sage um let's have a look at advice what advice is there please for gemini what advice is there for gemini Maybe Libra energy here. Do 
just be careful about entering into anything with this person. Um, mm. The Queen of Wands in reverse as well. So with the Justice card here and the Empress in reverse, I think the truth is going to come out because this is all about facts. The truth is going to come out and it is going to make you question um, what, whether, or, whether or not you want to invest in this and you will need to question whether or not you, you will invest in this. But you also need to consider... Um, you know, the, the passion, the passionate new opportunity that you have as well. This could be something really good. Um, so your advice is to consider what's right for you based on the facts. Okay. All right, Gemini, I'm so sorry that that cut off and I had to um, tape the two videos together. Um, but that's what I've got for your how are they thinking and feeling right now. If you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details down below. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon. Bye.